Hey guys, so there comes a point in every Tamil girl's life that she dreads. Actually, wait, let me correct myself. A lot of the girls do dread it, but a lot of girls actually look forward to this day. What am I talking about? A puberty ceremony. So to my non-Tamil friends out there, let me explain what this means. Basically, when a girl gets her period for the very first time, she's seen to be going through changes and becoming a woman and entering a new era in her life. So they throw a huge party and invite everyone they know. This is kind of like a bar mitzvah, but except there's a lot of blood involved. So as awkward as this is for a girl to be calling one of her family members and telling them that this happened, what do they do? Call up all of her relatives and expose her. Oh, Dhiri Mangira Mahal. Ah, yeah, Samati Patita. And if you think that's bad, they stop the kid from going to school for about two weeks. So what happens then? Everybody at school knows. And you can always tell people, oh yeah, you know, I was just sick, but I thought we were supposed to promote our kids not to lie. And for some reason, this is the most happiest, most proudest moment of a parent's life. I mean, hold on. She didn't win anything. She didn't accomplish anything. She was born a girl, and according to nature, this is going to happen to her. So it's really nothing for you to parade around. And as if it's not bad enough that they called everybody and told them, everyone decides to come and see her that exact same day. As if something magically happened and she's someone completely different that everyone has to come and be like, oh my god, oh my gosh, she got her period. But there is one good thing that happens out of this. Everyone that comes to see her gives her money. How awesome is that? But wait, wait. She doesn't get to keep that money. You know what happens to that money? Her parents take it. Sorry, Shanta Abla Tanda. Ravi Ravi. Noor. Okay. Ah, Ravi got a pull later. Come to Samati would have a birth trip. This basically works like a loan. Whatever money they give you, you gotta return it when it's their turn, but you gotta add like interest on it. So if they gave you $100, you gotta give them $150. Because if you give the same amount of money that they gave you, because trust me, they have written down everything that they've given other people, then it's kind of like a slap in the face and they'll start talking to you. Okay, so now that they have ruined her adolescence and made her a home prisoner for two weeks, do you know what they do? I mean, yeah, she gets treated like a princess because everyone is giving her so much attention and they're doing everything for her. But the things that she has to eat... So basically, she's not allowed to eat anything that tastes good. And the worst part is they take raw egg and put oil into it and then make her swallow this whole every single morning. What the hell is wrong with you people? So this apparently is supposed to help with cramps in the future. But let me tell you something. My sister ate everything they gave her and she still has cramps. I, on the other hand, didn't eat shit and I'm totally fine. So please, you old people that are torturing these little girls, learn something from that. So after all this happens, they throw a huge party with all of her friends and family. They, she's wearing the most expensive and gorgeous outfits and they have all sorts of rituals that go on, and which is totally fine, okay? That's our tradition, that's our culture, cool. But here is where it gets messed up. So number one. They throw this party a long time after, like a year later, two years later. What? The reasoning behind this, because usually when the girl gets it, she's like 11, 12, 13. So she's very small and scrawny sometimes. So the sorry won't, you know, stand on her. It won't look good on her. So let's wait till she grows up a little and develops herself a little. So then we can throw this party and she'll look pretty. Number two. Oh, my parents in Sri Lanka want to see this. Oh, my aunt and uncle in Sri Lanka want to see this. Let's go to Sri Lanka and do this. But wait, we don't have enough money right now, so we're going to save up some money, and then we're going to go do it in Sri Lanka. A year later. Oh, and then the Chandra and the Mahali, but Samadhi will send you the la. A full of money, Jidam. Tell me. He's a father, Idam. A pung and a mile of prior and now put out the ladder, say you on a man. A pung like a madipa. In the helicopter hung in the and it's just become such a big competition to see who does it better than the other. And what happened to culture? Where do you people get the money from? You're just pulling money out of your asses? Like, I don't understand. I mean, yeah, a lot of people take loans and a lot of people borrow money from friends and family. You're taking money that you don't have to blow on a ceremony that's not that important. I mean, take that money and save it up for her education. Do you guys know how expensive tuition is these days? Don't even get me started on these music videos. And you guys all know how I feel about music videos, right? It is absolutely ridiculous. These video songs, they have the girls coming down on helicopters. They have them coming on boats and horses. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future, somebody calls Justin Bieber for one of these video shoots. 
I would not be surprised. Preserving culture, tradition, I'm all pro for it, but what we're doing here is not exactly culture. I mean, over the years it has changed so much that culture has become like this small and everything else is this much. I mean, innovation and creativity, it's totally great, but let's not remember why we do certain things. And when we pass it on to our kids, we need to make sure they understand exact reason why we do certain things so that they can go out and they can educate their non-Tamil friends. I mean, this is our identity and we don't want to lose it. If we don't teach our kids, who would? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and share. If you didn't like it, please subscribe and share. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.